welcome to my new channel. Uh, I actually haven't decided on a name for it just yet. I'm thinking maybe Jacob's House of Rock, but you know, you'll see my username down in the corner and you'll know what I actually went with by the time this video's up. But uh, yeah, for many years I've been, um, actually not many years, maybe about a year, I've been uh, doing figure reviews and movie reviews for Godzilla figures, as you can see all around me. And I wanted to make a channel about my other passion, which is music, because, you know, I, I listen to a lot of, a lot of music and lots of genres, anything from heavy metal to blues, folk, lots of prog, stuff like that. And I, I record with my, with my band, and there's a lot of topics out there which I, which I, I feel that I could do a couple of videos on. And today, um, I'm going to start off with... A little unboxing video or uh, unpacking video of a motorhead patch that I got pretty cheap uh, from I think it was let's see where it's from Thailand so yeah a little patch from Thailand from eBay a motorhead one as you can see I got my little lemmy pop vinyl and my motorhead shirt I did an unboxing for this one on my Godzilla figures channel called atomic vinyl reviews so if you want to see where I got this shirt. It's also from eBay. It's a pretty pretty good deal on the shirt too. So I'll have a link in the description for that. But without further ado, let's get into uh, seeing this patch. So it's got a nice little brown paper envelope. It's been stapled shut here. So it should be pretty easy to get it out. Um, okay. And here we go. Oh, nicely wrapped in a little plastic sleeve. I'll give you a closer look. Hopefully, it should autofocus. It's pretty simple. Got pretty big stitching, just uh, black and white. Nothing too special, but I'm gonna really look forward to be putting this somewhere, somewhere in my jacket. As you can see, I've got a. Hold on, some some badges, some Jimi Hendrix, Misfits, Rolling Stones type stuff here. My big uh, DIY Rolling Stones patch. That's uh, can might make a video on how to make one of these in the future. But yeah, this will, this will look really cool. Perhaps on the shoulder here. Yeah, the stitching's not bad. I'm pretty happy with it for the price I got. So let's take this guy out of the packet here. See what we got. Anyway, so here it is out of that plastic packaging. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Got that nice shiny back. All the edges are done really nicely. There's no fraying or anything like that. I'm pretty happy with this one. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you through ironing it on. I've actually never done this before, but we'll see how it goes. So um, come with me and we'll come to the ironing room. It's not actually called that. It's the laundry or the kitchen or whatever, but let's go and do that. All right, everybody. So now we're in the laundry room and we're going to iron this patch on. I also brought another little one I've been meaning to iron on. This is a Godzilla patch. So I'll do both of them right now. Now what we got here is just a hard surface on the ironing board. I got a little cutting board. We're going to use that today. From what I understand it, all you, all you really need to do is just line it up onto the, onto the jacket. So I'll do that gonna put this one on the arm sleeve here so I'll get rid of those so you line it up onto the hard surface so it's gonna be a bit tricky on the arm here but hopefully I can line it up and get make sure it's as flat as possible underneath it maybe if we do it like so, alright, that seems about as flat as it's going to get. Now let's line up our patch. Going to go for about there. Now, 
what they advise to do from the research I've done is heat up heat up the denim underneath it since it's a pretty thick material so normally what you do if it was a thin shirt is you'd iron it again from the underneath where the patch is to really melt that glue in but since this is a very thick material you need to heat it up before putting the patch down for a couple of seconds All right that should be that's nice and hot Let's stick that down about there all right now what we can do start it off with a nice hot iron make sure the iron's very hot because it is a thick material now let's do this for about a minute it's also wise to put a thin cloth over there, over this just to protect the patch so I'm going to use this t-shirt hopefully this will adhere now remember this is my first time doing this too so this will be interesting and that's been about a minute so let's take a look it's still very hot but it seems to have worked oh need to get the corners a little more now here you should wait a couple of days before washing these and to hand wash them inside out to make sure the patches are all safe and they last longer if you're wondering all the other patches they're all sewn on most of them I made myself using some canvas cloth that you can print on but ink doesn't really work so I, I had to paint them that's how I got my Rolling Stones one done okay I'll just attempt to do the back still it's on the sleeve but if I can get that iron in there patches right there there we go now I'll leave this to cool and then we'll come back to it and see how it holds but for now there we go So I am back from ironing and as you can see the patches all on all went really smoothly really good uh, This one took a few more passes to get it to really to really adhere pretty well now It does and this one was super simple. I highly recommend it links to 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 where to get it below Though I'm not in any way shape or form associated with that seller. I just review what I buy so I highly recommend it. Uh, if I can do it, uh, so can you. It's a very simple process to iron these on. Anyone can do it. Yeah. Uh, so get yourself some patches and pimp out your jacket and you'll look really rock and roll. Before I go, I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my video. I hope it found it helpful or entertaining or interesting or whatever. And yeah, stick around and hopefully I'll have some new content on my channel, probably, hopefully something a little more uh, well produced than this one. This one was just a quick little video. So yeah, it's my new channel. Enjoy guys. Over and out.